Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ailey. If you're new to today's video, it's really weird to be back in this background. I've literally just filmed Dusty another video and um if you want to see it, it is a new product from YSL. I'll link it up there for you. But I decided that I was going to come back here and update you guys on my blepharoplasty because obviously for the first update I was just before my stitches were removed, I was still like this. I still had my steady strips on and I was still kind of sensitive to the light so I didn't really want to sit in front of these really bright lights so I did it in my living room. It is now the 7th of August which means... So we're just over four weeks post-op now and I do, oh no, I don't feel back to normal. I obviously I'm going to go over everything. So I basically have, I don't have video clips this time, but basically I want to update you guys from the day I got my stitches out to now. The day I got my stitches out was like the best day ever. I figured I would just explain everything and put in to this video what I have a little bit like I did last time, but do it as I'm talking. So like the end of last bit, the last video. So before I talk too much. Rewind back to the 15th of July. I obviously went down to Glasgow in the morning. I was there for 9am to get my stitches out and we took my stitches out. Two nurses took them out. It was very fiddly. As soon as they took the steady strips off, I was like, oh my god, that feels so much better. <laughs> and um, it took them about 15 minutes or so to take my stitches out. I think that they did have a little bit of issue. I am a sweller and I was swollen quite a lot, so I was still swollen. And what happened, obviously, was the stitches were sort of like really close to the skin, so it just took them a wee bit longer. It was a little bit uncomfortable, but and it, to be honest, it's probably the most uncomfortable part of the whole procedure so far. But like I say, totally still bearable. And after that, obviously, I was in Glasgow, so we went and did a little bit of shopping, and then home we went. That night, I was swollen. I can't really say much different. I was a lot more comfortable. I'll obviously put in a photo of what I looked like, but I felt like I looked a wee bit like Quasimodo, you know, with like the big eyes and that. I just, I felt very swollen, and I was like, oh my God, although I can see eyelid, I was like, wow, this is like, a lot. <laughs> so I was a little bit freaked out but yeah so I took a photo, I'm just looking at the photos, I've still got black eyes in the photo and I look a bit crazy but that was me literally right outside the clinic and you can see I was actually quite worried about my incisions. I will pull you in close in just a wee second but I was quite worried about my incisions because I'll zoom in and I'll show you they looked open at the side. They weren't once I looked at them properly close up, it was just that they were a little bit deep and they were really red. So, didn't have to worry too much about that. But I still had my black eyes, so I was still really swollen underneath. And it was, it was, after I started covering up the black eyes, I looked a wee bit better. Um, my eyes opened up a little bit more throughout the day. <laughs> I look miserable in all these photos, I'm really sorry. Um, but the Weird thing was that you could totally see loads of my eyelid, which is weird, and it felt really good. Obviously, you'll see as the photos go on that my eyes will be a wee bit more swollen one day, they'll be a little bit less swollen, a little bit more swollen. There was no sort of rhyme or reason to it. And then by... My bruises were not gone until the 26th, 27th of July. I was like, literally, there was like two tiny little bits, you'll see it in the photo, two tiny little bits that I was actually using eye shadow primer to cover. But that's how long it took them to go away, so how long is that? It's almost three weeks. I think I would say three weeks for them to be completely gone. So don't be alarmed if that's you. I am still sleeping semi-upright. So yes, I'm still swelling up. I eat a lot of salt, so it's a little bit of a pest. But my eyelids and that seem to go down. It's just the incision site that stays kind of relatively swollen now. So by the 31st of July, the swelling was getting a little bit better sort of in the morning. Now it is a little bit better in the morning. Every morning when I wake up, it's, I mean, they're tender, but every morning when I wake up, my eyes are dry. So I put in my eye drops. That's no different to when, before my surgery. That was always kind of the case. So I wake up, I put my eye drops in, let that sort of like roll around my eye. I get up and after I brush my teeth, I take a, like a washcloth, a clean one every morning. 
soak it in warm water and then press it on my eyes not too heavily but I press it on my eyes and it's weird because when I take it away all of the sort of like gunk is like built up in the corner of my eye and I can just wipe it away I don't know why that happens but it's really cool it makes my eyes feel a lot better and then I can wash my face the difference between then and now isn't really much the my eyes are just they're going down an awful lot more during the day and the middle bits of the scar are a lot flatter so I'm going to pull you in now and we're going to talk about what's happening because there's not really much been happening it's all very slow after that so if you look now you'll see that this eye is sort of a wee bit more you know down you can see more of this eye than this eye, which is funny because I thought that this one was healing quicker. But if you actually look, the scar on that one is a lot wider and it's a lot more aggravated still than that one. If that makes any sense. See how that one's a lot thinner now? And that one did used to look like that. So don't, um, that's why I'm not so worried. So if you look, you can see that that one's tightened up a lot and it means that it's leaving me with more eyelid exposed, which is cool. I don't, I still don't know what they're going to look like in the end. But in here, you can see that my scar is still very bumpy. So when I look straight ahead, you can see like the kink that it's creating. Sorry, I'm looking over at my viewfinder so I can see what I'm talking about. This one as well is even worse and it's creating more of a kink in that part of my eye. See how it looks really uneven now that you can see it. So once that flattens out, it'll tighten up. Hope, well, this is what I'm hoping. And it'll, you know, it'll look more sort of rounded than kinky. <laughs> um, if you look, I'll focus on this eye just now. So if you look over here, this bit in the middle is a lot flatter on the inner corner and on the outer corner you can see my suture marks my eyes did not like the sutures it just it didn't like it and it was just became inflamed so you can see all the wee dots if I press not press on it because it hurts if I press on it it feels like a bruise so it, it feels tender but the um you can feel the bumps you can feel how kind of raised it still is and I mean that's if I do that there is no overhanging skin there anymore, which is really weird. I'm back down on the 31st of August, so I'll do another little update after that for my holiday, just to update you guys on what he says and stuff like that. But it'll be interesting to see what he says at that stage. So and we're going to go over to this one now. And this one is a little bit more kind of bumpy and aggravated in there. It still gets a little bit itchy. The in there is not bad at all but it's still not healing as quickly as this one which is weird because this eye was way behind in the healing process and then it just totally took over and then over here you can see it's really quite wide there so that all needs to sort of like sort itself out which can take months I mean I'm I'm not really in any hurry to be honest I want it all to sort of hurry up and flatten so I can wear makeup but apart from that I am sort of at the stage where I am happy with the results that I have so far I'm looking forward to seeing what they end up like. So I'm going to give you just a close-up of closed eyes just to see. And then a close-up of them open. So that is what we have just now. I was at a wedding two weeks post-op. And I did eyelashes, under eyelashes, eyelashes, and I did, I did go to do makeup, but it didn't look right at all, so I just kind of took it off. Um, and I wore face makeup, that was about it. But apart from that, I've literally just not put anything on it. I haven't put, it was a little bit dry a couple of weeks ago, or a week or so ago, so I put like a little bit of moisturiser on it. I use Eve Taylor stuff at, where is it, at work at my work so I just I've used the ultra soothing moisture cream it is literally like the safest one to use out of the whole range so it's like you can put it on sunburn you can put it on you know like inflamed skin and stuff like that and it really helps so I thought I'll use that because it's the most natural and that's about it I haven't put any scar cream on or anything like that I'm gonna wait so apart from that yeah that is pretty much all that I 
okay? That's pretty much all that I've done. Um, I just want to let it sort of heal on its own. I have seen some people are completely way ahead of me by now. I've spoken to somebody else who was way behind in the healing process. You just, you never can tell where you're going to be. It doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your lifestyle, I don't think it really matters at all, it just, it's very, very individual, person to person, surgeon to surgeon, what procedure you had done, if you had multiple procedures done, I just think that it's very, very individual, so don't base your healing time on what you see of other people. So I have another four weeks until my holiday, and then I'm hoping that a lot of the swelling's going to have subsided by then, and the scar is going to be mostly remodelled. Um, but I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. I just want that, obviously, for the flight and stuff like that. But I'm going to speak to my surgeon about flying. Um, I'm back to exercising. So I see a lot of questions on the groups. When can you exercise? When can you do this? When can you do that? So I started exercising two weeks afterwards. I did a very, 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 very light workout on the Monday. Was it on the Monday? After um, the two, after the two weeks, so the two weeks was fell on the Friday, and I did it on the Sunday or the Monday, I think it was, and that was mm, it was a little bit iffy. Uh, my eyes did swell up, and I did I didn't I was I did not have the power. I did not have a hundred percent at all. Waited till the next week, which was last week, and I managed to do a full workout. Well, it wasn't a full full workout, like I say. I was still a little bit like obviously we're taking some time off. I was a little bit lacking of um, energy and I didn't lift as heavy as I would normally for those of you well actually nobody really knows yet because I haven't done a video about it yet I have actually been diagnosed with lipedema I'm going to do a video on it um, so I lift heavy and um, that is my exercise of choice now because it seems to be the best one for sort of staving it off and helping with it and obviously with lifting heavy you can cause a lot of pressure so you don't really want to be jumping into it too much after a surgery on your face especially your eyes so I didn't go quite as heavy as I would normally today I did pretty much what I would do normally and I although I didn't I couldn't put a hundred percent into it I did feel a lot lot closer so I think when I do it tomorrow I'm going to do much better and then next week I'll probably be back to pretty much normal so you're looking at to get back to 100% if you're anything like me at least four or five weeks but I am somebody who only works out two days a week because it's the only days I can spare so if you're somebody who's a wee bit more active than me maybe you can get back to it sooner or maybe you could build up more gradually than I did um yeah and what was the other thing? Wearing makeup. I would say wear makeup when you are ready to wear makeup because I could wear makeup just now but like I say it's still tender. I've rubbed my eyes a couple of times by accident. I don't mean rub rub, I mean like accidentally like maybe tugged on it a little bit and it is sore, it's tender. It's, I can't feel it at all just now when I'm sitting not doing anything or like when I'm moving my eyebrows or blinking or anything like that. If I squeeze my eyes together it feels a bit tight. When I'm in the shower I can't really rub the water out of my eyes so I always get a, a washcloth and just dab it. Just that feels a wee bit weird to me, that's something that I noticed. It's not so much the putting on of makeup I would worry about now because everything is completely healed. It is like there's no openness, it can't, nothing can get in or anything like that. It's just like if you were taking it off afterwards, I can't imagine having to rub my eyes heavily, if you know what I mean. I'm hoping this is going to get me out of the habit of rubbing my eyes because it's a really bad ha habit to have. But yeah, I just can't imagine sort of rubbing my eyes just now. So. I've just put off wearing makeup. So I would say wear makeup whenever you're comfortable wearing makeup. Face makeup I've worn multiple times. It doesn't make a difference. What I tend to do is just obviously take my makeup up to it and no more. Like I say, if there's anything that you think that I could potentially ask my surgeon on the 31st, let me know in the comments section I'll definitely ask him for you. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more updates on this, there will be some. And I will update you on how I got on on the plane because lots of people are asking that. So I will update and let you know how I got on on the plane and stuff like that. How I got on in the hotter weather and stuff like that. And yeah, so subscribe so you don't miss that. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.